Hey guys, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. When we last left off, we were exploring the caverns, and I managed to get us up here um, with a lot of trial and error. Uh, it, somehow, we just managed to do it. Not really sure exactly the science. It was kind of a mix of brute force and ignorance. Anyway, with that done, let's keep moving, because we've got... A couple of bosses to deal with. So, no time like the present. And there is a... Yeah, I can't remember how I got this now. Let's try. I mean, this is only... Yeah, it's only a pentagram, but... Oh, needs must and all that. Ugh. Damn, I got this easy. Come on, you son of a... There you... Yes, there we go. Bat pentagram. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Anyway, we've got these rock guys and these blue Venus weeds. These, the rock guides aren't anything to write home about. However, the uh, blue Venus plants we do know from previous experience, they're kind of spicy when they want to be. But luckily, we're getting a bit of a lucky draw here. Still, those rock knights can go suck a fat one. Uh, you know, if we go through here, kill you and you for the lols and then if we can somehow nope wrong way there we go oof that was a little bit more challenging than I had hoped it to be but whatever we'll grab you and we'll come back here on our way back on our return journey but for now we have demons most foul to destroy including well you'll see a couple of spicy mofos uh, we're actually going to go do one of the quote hardest optional bosses uh, and he is quite something Many of you who have played this will know who I'm being cryptic about. But let's just say the first time I played this section, he was a interesting roadblock. Yes. Um, you know, we're going to go this way, I think. Do we want to go this way first? I guess. We probably could know. Oh, hello. We, of course, know that if we go up here. To think these guys were once bosses. To think that. Kind of amazing how much we have grown in power. Yeah, let's actually put down a hard save because we haven't done that for a while. And uh, I hope you'll forgive me. But I am about to drink some uh, ruby ale. Oh, kind of feels a little bit defeative, you know, to spend all morning in the gym and then come home and play video games and suck back ale, but hey, whatever. Right. Back to hell with you, foul demon. I would imagine that probably would hurt, actually, landing feet first on a demon's head. A bit spiky, you know, a bit saucy. All right, get out of here. So we have a Ziholy Water, which is probably not going to be that useful here. So, you've made it this far. In the name of your father, cease this foolishness. Not while there's a breath in my body. Then for the master, I'll feast on your soul this <laughs> night. Well, sorry to break it to your death, but that's not happening. Now... Obviously, this battle was foretold right at the beginning of the game. Now, you may be forgiven 
for expecting a hell of a fight here, as I was. Well, if you are thirsting or hungering for a fight of legendary proportions, you will go home hungry. Because he's incredibly trivial, actually. I remember um, getting to this bit and wiping the floor with him, and I was like, ha, huh. okay. But don't worry, your hunger for a epic boss fight will be a little bit later on. Now, we got the Eye of Vlad there, which I think gives us, yeah, it gives us like plus 10 to luck, which I mean, yeah, I guess, I guess plus 10 to luck's pretty, pretty juicy. Now, we are going to go straight, oh, we need the demon. We need the demon to go poke, beep the boop. You gonna do it? Or am I gonna have to? Yep, yeah, he's gonna do it. Hmm. This switch hasn't been pressed yet. Well, I mean, it kind of has, demon friend, but uh, I suppose not here. Anywho, let's get our sword friend back. What level is our sword friend? Oh my. Level 24, like, is that it? Kind of insane. Out of the way, Slogra. Your bones are now dust. Okay. Oh, we've got some more Gaiboon. That's fine. Those guys are rather trivial. Just the way we like it. Some green tea, power of sire, and a life apple. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You you go slice the wall, sword. This is why you don't get paid the big bucks. Man, I love this sword. I know it really destroys the amount of armor we've got, but my god, guys, this sword is just immense. And I'm here for it. Okay. Oh, uh, actually, the axe is probably not a terrible shout, to be honest with you. But especially with whom we have to deal with very soon. I actually forget his name. I've got it written down on a map next to me, but um, I can't read it <laughs> because. Uh, the red text on the map is just completely garbled. But that's okay. No matter. Definitely don't want that. That weapon, like, maybe it's good. But I don't really have a use for it. Now in here, we're going to get some rather interesting items. Or I guess they probably would be interesting. But we're at a level now where we absolutely don't need them. So there's the Alucard Sword, which is, I'm sure, fine. But it's nothing compared to the weapon that we're wielding. So we're not going to use it. Okay. Now this way, this leads to the portal. It does. It do. Okay. Let us continue our assault into the nether grounds. Never realm, I should say, really. Nether grounds, does that make sense? I mean, now I'm thinking of ground coffee. Nether grounds, yes. If I ever made my own coffee uh, brand, Nether round, ain't oh no, 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 it, it would have to be Titan Brew, wouldn't it? Yes, a more potent concoction of caffeine than never would have existed in the history of humankind. Or suicide powder, maybe. Okay, so another power of Sire. I guess we'll take ye. Um, there's apparently as well, according to my notes, a green tea in here, but 
wherever that is, I have no idea. I've spent a not inconsequential amount of time looking around for this mythical green tea. And I didn't find any. So I'm not sure what that's about. But again, it's not the items that give us the completion rating. It's the amount of uh, rooms or tiles that we visit. Okay, so back to the floating catacombs. Um, nah, I just like my holy water, man. What can I say? I'm a creature of habit. I know a good brew when I see it. We're certainly going to take advantage of the save room here. 100%. And let's get cracking this way. And what do we find? We find a magic missile and a buffalo star. Just updating my map. Okay. Pretty sure we got the two shiitakes on the way up. Noop! Noop! We're not going that way. Don't be a coward, Adelcard. Now, these witches are a nightmare because you can't hit them until they turn into cats. Or if you can hit them, I'm not 100% sure how the science of it works. Eventually, they'll turn themselves into cats, and then you can easily kill that. But I don't like the idea that I'm sitting here killing cats, to be honest. Seems a trifle uh, OTT. But never mind, I'm sure they are demonic cats and not real cats. So the conscience can rest easy. Now, being a cat uh, parent, oh god, we've all had fantasies of sometimes doing unpleasant things to our cats, especially when they're up to mischief but at the same time you can't help but find their ways endearing anywho let's grab that and keep moving frozen halves huh yeah they're kind of weird enemies to be honest but we're not gonna worry too much about those oh we actually got hit by a skeleton what's that about Frozen halves are nothing to worry about. They fall like wheat before the scythe. Now we can go down here, grab the attack potion, which might not be a bad shower, actually. This way. This will give us a necklace of Jay. I don't know who Jay is, or why he or she lost the necklace, but we now have it. Unless that means... Oh, wait a minute, is that a necklace of our boy, JC? Huh, possibly. It's not the world's most useful item. I think it just gives you a, a very minor boost to your defense. Now, these are blood skeletons. I hate blood skeletons because you can't kill them. You can only temporarily crush them, which is very unfulfilling, I'm going to be honest. Now... save room and just be oh yes wait a minute nope that's fine we can go this way grab ourselves a diamond they are a girl's best friend apparently okay now let's continue the assault onto the Nastiest boss in this game so far, and we are going to be equipped to fight this guy. We're going to want to wear the barrel circlet. So, yeah, that's going to heal us with lightning damage, and I didn't realize I had this. And he uses lightning attacks that are devastating. He also has 6,666 health. Yes, really. He is an absolute unit. 
And now these orbs that he's firing here, as you can see, they are not lightning. They are not lightning at all. We want to get hit by his lightning attacks, of which we didn't. And we are getting absolutely bodied by him. Oh, man. That was unfortunate. So, how do we do, roughly? Well, we didn't even tickle him. Now, what I am going to be curious here... So, we're going to reload here. We are level 44, right? So, we're going to gain three levels for killing this thing. I don't know how we're going to kill this thing. I'm going to be honest. It's going to be a little bit, little bit real with you. When I killed him off camera, when I was uh, playing around with this... Right, if we put that on, what does the ring... We don't need the ring of Arcania. Do we have, I mean, more defense, but our weapon doesn't give us any defense anyway. Are that, okay, you know what? Little bit of defense. It's better than a kick in the balls, I guess. Okay. So, did critical that. Oh, he's so fast as well. So mighty. I actually thought something weird was going on with this game. I'm not gonna lie. When I uh, first came through here and started fighting him, I thought maybe it glitched and he had become invincible, but no. Now, there is a nice little secret that I did find. I cheesed it by accident. I actually came up here and I managed to slice his head. That's not what we want. That's not what we want at all. But he appears to get a little bit wise to that after a while, unfortunately. Yeah, heal me. Good lad. Good lad. That's what we want. So hopefully, if he keeps taking hits like this... Nope. As soon as that shit comes out, we're going to turn to mist. And then we're going to wait for him to heal us like a good lad. Oh, balls of death. They look like lightning, but apparently they're actually like soul energy or something. Some kind of energy that really is not um, productive for us to be absorbing. Okay. Oh, there we go. So if we hit him in the head, we'll do, be doing like roughly... Oh, he's going to do it again. We will be doing roughly double the damage to him. But unless you can get lucky, it's not worth it, in my opinion. Because whenever I've tried to recreate that lucky hit, that's it. Heal me up. Um, that lucky strategy of getting him kind of locked in the corner so we can hit him in the head. Whenever I've tried to recreate that, it has not worked. But that's okay. We're just going to continue doing chip damage. When those criticals land, it's pretty nice, not going to lie. And this circlet is kind of making this fight a joke. I had some real trouble with this before. Interesting. Yep, you just keep doing what you're doing. And you can die. He takes some hits, though. And we're just going to enjoy our luck for as long as it lasts. And even our little sword friend is helping out the best he can. Bless him. Keep those crits coming. You, you'll notice that our sword is doing, like, no damage to him at all, really. Now, why is he doing the same attack over and over? Not that I'm complaining. Now, if our sword is actually attacking his head, like a good lad, uh, he actually does pretty decent damage. He'll, he can do like 500 damage. Another good couple of healthy criticals there. God damn! This guy's gonna have no foot left by the time we're done with him. At least that's the plan. Get royally fucked, lad. 
I love the satisfying way that he burns. And there we get a nice little life up as well. So as we were level 44, we are now level 47. He is a hellish, hellish lad. Uh, unless you have that circlet, it would, uh, it would seem. In which case, he's kind of a joke, actually. Still, the upgrades keep coming. And we're not going to complain about upgrades, are we? That's right. Now in here, we'll find the ruby circlet and the gas cloud. Not 100% sure what the gas cloud is. I'm guessing that now allows us to poison enemies when we turn into gas. Which, yep, that now does damage. I guess that was kind of self-explanatory, really. Unless you're a big dumbass, like me. Anywho, that is going to be our episode for today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. When we come back, we're going to be clearing the other side of this uh, inverted castle. Or at least the, the caverns, anyway. And then we're going to continue our assault. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.